Hello one Insane Frame here, welcome to another video. In the last video we went ahead and got the broadsider and ran around pelting people with cannonballs. It was a majestic experience to say the least, so in today's video we're going to go to New Vegas. Today's the day we ask, can you beat Fallout New Vegas with that gun? That gun is a gun available in Novak from Cliff inside the dinosaur shop and from what I can tell it's a 5.56mm calibre gun and it has 5 rounds per round magazine. It's got increased crit chance so it's quite the beast overall and a huge plus is 5.56 ammo is very common so the early game is going to be fairly decent. That all out the way, let's quickly go on to the rules. We may only use that gun as a weapon in battle. No glister exploits, no cheating or modding, and we're going to be playing on very hard difficulty with hardcore enabled. With the intro out the way, let's get started. The first thing we do is we get to name ourselves, so we go ahead and go with Yosemite Sam. Comment down below if you know the reference. With our character looking the part, which somewhat with all that red hair, we go on over and decide our special stats. We go ahead and get 6 strength, 5 perception, 7 endurance, 1 charisma, 5 intelligence, 7 agility along with 9 luck. A pretty decent gunslinger build focusing on crits with the option of vats if need be. So with that we go ahead and put all of our items in a crate to not give ourselves a advantage early on. We then move on and get to decide where we would like to place our early points by tagging free skills. We decide to go for guns, speech and melee. I know melee is an odd choice here however there is a perk called cowboy at level 8 and we require 45 melee for that so you might as well get a decent amount early on. Lastly we have traits and these allow you to specialise your character further and you can select up to two. So we go ahead and get far shot so we shoot 20% faster while being 20% less accurate which means more bullets in the enemy. Our second trait is skilled which adds plus five to all our scores across the board but at the cost of minus 10% XP. It's a small price to pay but a very powerful trait to take early on. And lastly we enable hardcore mode so we have to watch our food, drink and sleep or suffer special stat penalties and in severe enough circumstances death so fun times. With all that taken care of we leave Doc Mitchell's house and start our adventure. Our first point of call is getting our weapon of choice so we head straight straight out of Good Springs and towards the Hidden Valley. Once there we navigate through the twists and turns in order to avoid the giant rad scorpion and run for dear life as quick as we can. However once that's all done we pop out near Helios 1. So Novak itself is just south of us which is perfect and once we arrive there we see the big green dinosaur showing us we're here. We go inside the dinosaur and we walk straight past Cliff and begin picking the very easy locked door. We see that gun on the shelf allowing us to loot it and now we can attack things with our weapon of choice. We fast travel back to Good Spring and buy some ammo from Shet. Although not much, it is enough to get us started. And what's more is when we get to Prim, we don't heed the NCR troopers' warning. However, we do decide to loot some of the ammo containers in the area, giving us more ammo to play with. Once that's done, we keep going down the road and go towards the NCR outpost in the southwest portion of the map. There's a healthy amount of ammo for sale, so we go ahead and buy some. We begin farming ants next to Helios 1, and ants are really easily dealt with, and it's quite amusing to shoot them from afar. However, when it all concludes, we level up, so we decide to go for guns and melee weapons. For our perk, it's got to be rapid reload, so we reload our weapon 25% faster than normal, which is excellent. We get to the trading post and purchase lots of ammo by selling the fire ants loot that we got, and we even get a couple of caps in the process. Now that we have some ammo, we decide to go to Boulder City, and we have an NCR standoff. So we go in, we talk to Jessup, and after our little chit chat, we get two level ups. So we go in, all in on survival with a hint of guns however with our second level up we also get a perk so we decide to go for bachelor so we do 10 percent more damage against male opponents a excellent damage boost for us we go ahead and test our newly acquired perk by killing jessup with relative ease and then we loot some drugs which is um okay i guess but we also have some turbo as well we then go outside and put a few bullets in some great cans much to the ncr's enjoyment and after the firefight we get another level up so we go for survival, getting a total of 61, making food items heal for a decent amount of HP. We go to Good Springs and start killing some geckos, and once we have enough, we cook them by using the campfire. So we now have our food troubles sorted. With all that done, we go back to the NCR outpost and we take on Ranger Jackson's request, and of course Ranger Ghost as well. Needless to say, we kill the ants no problem, as they're super easy, barely an inconvenience, and we also decide to empty our rounds into some big corners near Nipton. We grab the meat off them, 
himself now food for the rest of the run. It also heals for a good amount too, and we go on over to Freeside and go to the Atomic Wrangler, and we do the age-old thing of getting a single chip and start betting to make ourselves a few caps. And before you know it, we get banned, which is understandable as luck is perfectly balanced. We go to the entrance of the strip and submit to a credit check, and we can now go to and from New Vegas as we see fit. But once we're in New Vegas, we do the New Vegas thing, and we do more gambling. We decide to clear each of the casinos out one by one, which is hilarious, as high luck is just ridiculously brilliant. Once we check out, we have over 30,000 caps, which is simply marvellous. So it's straight to the New Vegas clinic, and we upgrade ourselves with implants. We get plus one agility, endurance, intelligence, and luck. And we also get the subdermal implant, giving us plus four armor. So quite the upgrade to the metahuman Yosemite Sam. It's time to go back to Nipton, and we kill the most annoying character who won the lottery, and also the jackal gang leader. And once that's done, we have enough XP to level up. We go for more guns and survival, and for our perk, we decide to go for bloody mess. So all our damage is increased by 5%. When we're at Nipton, we see the Legion, and we start letting rip, as the bullets start flying everywhere. We do lots of damage, and the evil doggos forgot their manners, so must be dealt with, and see the fluffy side once more. But once the Legion are taken care of, we go back to Ranger Ghost, and we get a level up. We go for more guns and survival to make us more effective in combat. Ranger Jackson gets our assignment handed in as well for more experience, which is good. We then decide to farm some experience by going to Black Mountain and killing any super mutants we come across. We hit level 8 and we go for more guns and survival. We also decide to get Cowboy, so we do 25% more damage with our weapon. Once we kill a couple more Nightkin, we meet Tabitha, a interesting take on a super mutant so we aim for her arms to disarm her and once she drops the super sledge we start racking up the headshots to take her out we then get a bunch of experience and we get a level up we spec into more guns and survival yet again with our adventure at the mountain concluded we decide to go get deputy beagle in prim it's one of the easiest things as the enemies here can't really stand up to our damage so we just absolutely demolish them when we see deputy beagle we free him and we meet him outside when we speak to him he says that prim needs a sheriff so we speak to lieutenant haynes and he says he needs an extra section for his platoon so we go to major knight he approves our request on behalf of Hayes, and when we meet back up, we agree to let Prim be taken over by the NCR, gaining decent XP. After our business with Prim, we decide to go to the Tops Casino and confront Benny. So we kick in the front door and start tearing them to ribbons and mowing them down in a classic shootout. We're in absolute menace. However, Benny's bodyguards are dealt with as we do much the same and take them out by shooting them in the face multiple times. And any that try and run and escape is not happening on our watch. As for Benny, we use vats and blow his head off for being a potato self-explanatory i guess we go ahead and level up and we get 100 in survival now and 80 in guns so we're doing very well as for our perk we decide to get finesse so we have a high chance of getting critical hits really helping our build out the platinum chip is obtained and when we leave the tops casino both envoys approach us so we can now pick the ending that we wish but before we do that we get more xp by killing more ants near helios one which yield good experience then we go to the dry lake near nipton and we get more xp from the local wildlife until we level up and put all of our points into guns. It's time to make some moves, so we go to the Lucky 38 and confront Mr. House. We go ahead and tell him we're not giving him the platinum chip, and sure enough, a fight breaks out, which is excellent as the Securitrons must have male function, thinking they can take us out. But they are all defeated without too much effort, and when we get into the control room, we take the lift down, see Mr. House face to face. We decide to go ahead and put several bullets in him, which will help us out later. With our power play complete, we go see Ambassador Crocker at the NCR Embassy on the Strip. He wants us to get the boomers on side, and with our task in hand, we walk on over. George warns us, however, we go on ahead anyway and get into a spot where we can see the barrages and safely watch until it's over. We then walk on over to the fence and say hello to Raquel. Hello, Raquel, the master at arms, and Pearl was greeted. Hello, Pearl. So first up is Raquel, giving us an ant clearing duty in the power plant. Loyal then decides that he wants us to fix the solar arrays, and lastly, we listen to the boomer's history from Pete, who tells us about how their base was found. We ask lots of questions for brownie points to get into the boomer's good books. 
After that, we go on over to Helios 1 and find some spare solar array parts. If we go ahead and fix all the panels on top of the power plant, and then we go inside the power plant, shooting at all the ants. It's pretty easy, as we have lots of experience in this line of combat, so it's no surprise that they didn't fare too well against us. We also gain the Lord of Death perk, which is actually quite fitting. Law is impressed with our work, and we also level up, so we get 100 in guns, and we also get some repair. For our perk, we decide to go with Fight the Power, so when we're up against NCR, Legion or Brotherhood of Steel members, we gain plus 2 armor and a plus 5% crit chance against them. Very powerful. With Raquel and Loyal happy, we then get to talk to Pearl. She says to go to Loyal and ask about the Lady in the Water. So Loyal then says that we're to locate the Lady in the Water, which is a bomber at the bottom of the lake. We get our swimming trunks on and we locate the bomber. It's just a simple task of attaching the ballast on each wing. And when we go to shore, we use Loyal's device and sure enough, the bomber surfaces like an art sculpture. When we get back to Law, he's ecstatic and we report into Pearl and she is more than happy to assist us at Hoover Dam when the time comes. So all is good on this front. We report our success to Ambassador Crocker and he has another mission for us. He wants one of the kings called Pacer dealt with without any meddling from the NCR so we have to get our hands dirty. We decide to go to Freeside and go to the king's school and search Pacer's room but there's nothing of use. However, a light bulb moment happens and I walk on over to the Silver Rush and ask for some work. We start a quest and we're told to guard the entrance to the shop, which is fair enough. After a few people come in, we see the VIP himself, Pacer. We make sure to tactically use our words to make Pacer be an idiot and play right into our hands. We reveal our ultimate trap card as we can still use our weapon and kill him on sight. We're an ordinary guard, so there's no NCR involvement and we even get paid as well, so all is good. We report back to Crocker once more and we get a pat on the back and a level up. We decide to go ahead and get more repair, which is nice. Anyway, once our level up is dished out, we're called over to Hoover Dam to go see Colonel Moore. Once we get there, the Colonel gives us our assignment, which is to take out the Great Khans. An easy assignment for sure, so we hop to it. On our way there, we kill some fiends for some easy loot and experience, always nice, and we have a field day with the Viper Gang as we clean up their act. Once at Red Rock Canyon, we begin our headhunt for all the Great Khans in the area, so we start taking them out and we even level up in the process and go for more repair. And as for our perk, we decide to go for Adamantium Skeleton, so our limbs take 50 percent less damage a very useful perk for us for sure the great khans keep biting the dust and falling into our bullets and as for papa khan we get a couple of kills by sneaking around and then begin square off against everyone however once we're done they are all turned into mince meat which is absolutely fantastic as they won't be bothering the ncr anymore so we complete our mission from the colonel and to be honest i don't even know why the ncr have any trouble with these guys but what's done is done. It's back to Colonel Moore and she is impressed with our results. So she sends us to the Gamora Casino to get some intel and find out what's going on, which is fair enough. However, when we get there, we decide to just do the right thing and go in guns blaze and shoot all the Gamora staff on sight as they are a good bunch of XP and they are clearly up to no good. So we're just clearing the New Vegas Strip some small time villainy. So once many of them have been destroyed, we leave the civilians be and let them enjoy what's on show as it's none of our business. When we get back to Colonel Moore, she is not impressed with our methods. However, there is some truth to our lie as they won't cause any more trouble. The Colonel then tasks us with destroying a Brotherhood bunker. I'm not sure what she's thinking, but it's not the wisest thing to send a single soldier to destroy a whole Brotherhood chapter, but orders are orders I guess but we do get a level up and we go for more repair which is always good now usually I'd sneak into the brotherhood bunker but since we have over 400 rounds of armor piercing ammunition we decide to show them what we're made of and it's quite difficult at the entrance as it's a five verse one however we do take some cheeky pot shots and once we're cornered we manage to land a bunch of critical hits but we're in rough shape so we take some armor and go to the new vegas clinic to heal up we go in for another crack at them it actually goes pretty decently as we use guerrilla tactics and whittle them down one by one near the entrance as we have to watch out for their gorse rifles as they're dangerous bits of kit but our strategy seems to work very well when we get down to the second level we use hollow point ammo on the three scribes to take them out then we switch back to armor piercing again to wrestle with the elders bodyguards wielding gorse rifles however our crits take out the elder and disarm the guards of their weapons and we press the attack to make sure they're not causing us any more trouble it does get a little dicey as gorse rifles can one shot us if we're not careful but we do take out the heavy hit us leaving us with just the scribes so we load regular ammo back in and begin shredding the scribes it's just absolute pandemonium but when we're done we grab all the key cards and initiate the self-destruct sequence 
We then go to the surface and the bunker detonates, so the Brotherhood chapter is no more. We report back to the Colonel and she wants us to do security with the Rangers for the NCR President's visit. So we go ahead and prepare by going under the stairs and grabbing an NCR engineer jumpsuit and putting it on. And then we report to Ranger Grant. And once we do, we meet him outside and see the President's vertebrae come in. It lands on the roof, so the first thing we do is we pickpocket the engineer hanging around the verse bird when we get to the verse bird we disarm the bomb using the code we then do a cheeky little trick and draw our weapon in front of the engineer which makes the president run to the verse bird but since the bomb is disarmed he gets away quickly with the quest completed we level up and we go for more repair and for our perk we decide to go for stone wall so we have plus five armor against melee attacks and can no longer be knocked down by melee attacks either colonel moore is impressed and says general oliver is waiting for us we get the prompt however there is one more thing we must do before we're ready so we head to nova and get a bill of sale from a safe and then go talk to boone he wants us to find his wife's killer so we read the bill of sale and find the person responsible and the person is dealt with in a marvelous fashion we go speak to boone and he rewards us with his beret that gives plus one perception and plus five percent crit chance which will help us out hugely we let colonel moore know and the prompt appears and we set off general oliver meets us and tasks us with taking out the legget so it's now time for the battle of hoop dam we begin by talking to a mechanic who says it's a good idea to get the fans on but almost immediately we get into some skirmishes with the legion but our critical hits are putting in some serious work for us doing lots of damage as we progress through the plant lots of legion fellows want to tussle with us but it doesn't really work out for them as we just keep gunning them down at a ferocious rate we even level up and go for repair so we now have 95 repair after beating more of the legion back we eventually get topside and push back the legion with the ncr forces it's not too bad although we do suffer some wounds but we're okay and the legion get halted on the first half of the bridge on the second half of the bridge we meet alpha squad and they make the second half of the bridge a absolute cake walk for us as they gun down the legion from range and they even group up against them and just halt them it's absolutely hilarious it's not long before we get to the legates camp we manage to kill the praetorians easily enough as we just empty our magazines into them without any issues the marksmen are also dealt with so we can now focus on the legion's ace the legate is actually not too bad as we load up some armor piercing ammo and we decide to shoot him in the legs to slow him down a little bit he can't really chase us as quickly and we give him the run around whilst taking shots at the praetorians and doing significant damage to them but when the legate makes a run for it we use vats to deal damage and take the legate's head off a fitting end for him to say the least as for the legate's reinforcements for some reason we have an ncr ranger veteran commander i think it's because we side with the ncr but i've never seen this before but he's been here every attempt i've had against the legate so thank you commander ranger sir anyway general oliver bursts through the door ending the run answering the question can you beat fallout new vegas with that gun the answer is yes yes you certainly can well okay that challenge was a fun one running around like a cowboy and just shooting weapons out of people's hands like that with a high crit chance can't really argue with that it came in handy massively with the brotherhood of steel and the legion but the leg it proved a much easier challenge thanks to the armor pit and ammo so definitely going to be loading up on that stuff in the future can't really argue with the results there with all that said and done thank you very much for watching like the video if you liked the video and comment down below if you want to say hi and subscribe if you're new and also as a special announcement we have just reached 20k subs honestly that blows my mind thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys out there you make this dream a reality i cannot thank you enough when i first started this channel i didn't ever think it would get this big you've probably heard it all before but just thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys do a lot more than you know and it's fantastic so what we're going to do to celebrate that is we're going to do fallout 4 as a dog because dog meat is a good boy and he's a fluffy one so we're going to join him and try and complete the game like that anyway thank you very much for watching you've all been absolutely fantastic you have blown my mind it's been an absolutely amazing time so i'll see you guys in the next one this is insane frame signing off Lailas, everybody.